Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left-hand corner, we have Stunter as the red turn. B bottom left-hand corner, we have So as the green turn. This is going to be on Vermeer, which is one of the... I guess I'll go over it because I haven't gone over it on this channel, but it's one of the new, more popular ladder maps. I, I uh, to Twitch chat out there. The user knows who they are that, that's targeted at. So standard natural expansion, you have the Zerg eggs on the corner to open that up. Interestingly, you... It's kind of you have the best of Vermeer feels like it's just your standardly constructed map. Four player spawn, you have these spokes out here that can provide some high ground. You do have the artifacts where mutilus harass can happen there. As you can see, they have these fun little gremlin guys on the various corners. Third bases that are not on ramps, so it can be a little bit more challenging for Zerg, and it's also a rampless map, I should mention, outside of the natural from there. So yeah, it feels like kind of your standard four player rampless map that has some interesting Map features, just standard, balanced, uh, has a solid economy, has good options for... Uh, I think when we were looking at the percentages of these in the BSL Pro League, it was near 50% across all the matchups. Like, it was like 54% here, 52% there. So point being a very balanced map pool. The weird map in this grouping is now Odyssey. Side note on this, this was supposed to be a best of three. So... In theory, this was supposed to be a best of three. That's the winner's match and loser. So the initial games are best of one. The following matches are best of three. However, I only have a single replay from here. So I'm assuming the winner of this match advances and the loser will go on to the uh, the decider match or the final match, however you want to say it. it is going to be a TVT. I'm assuming Stunter, especially after watching his game versus Ball, is going to opt for a more conservative style of play. And if he plays more to the old meta of TVT where he's not going particularly on this map where it has a wider choke if he doesn't if he just goes for the machine shop into expand style he could end up getting overwhelmed by so if so who's honestly the way he was playing looked a little bit more cutting edge if he opts to go for the three factory opener and floods vultures into the natural looks like so is also going to get the first scout so SV moving out of the way See if this SCV, yeah, it's going to go catty corner upon realizing that SCV timing. Stunter going ahead and, well, is he going to grab his gas? It looked like he was positioned to grab his gas. Yeah, now grabbing his gas after the command center being dropped. First factory on the way. All SCVs out of gas opposite side from so, which does suggest we are going to see maybe an initial vulture to move across the map. SCV making its way bottom left. Initial Marine on the ramp to go ahead and blockade any additional scouting on that location. Now it's going to be a race. This could be a challenge. Marines watching them. Okay, watching the SCV now waking up, able to get back, and that is going to blockade Stunter. He has no information, so does not recognize that it is in fact a factory opener. Two SCVs making their way back to gas. And the barracks lifting off and making its way out to scout. The one thing Stunter does know is, is that it wasn't an earlier command center build. It wasn't just one racks into expansion. So after the initial factory and getting the initial vulture out, it's gonna go ahead and drop his command center at the natural location. At least I think he was gonna, nope. Instead of going vulture to start, he's gonna attack on that machine shop. So I take that back. Still no factory up for Stunter. I was, I'm actually a little bit surprised by that. Usually when you see the one racks command center build, you'll see Terran go for that initial vulture just because you can see how much later this factory is coming out. So oftentimes they'll produce that initial vulture, then drop the machine shop uh, and play from that angle uh, to get some additional pressure. But so is going to be able to float that barracks up and scout that natural expansion of bunker going up with three Marines at that location. It looks like we do now have three SCV back on the refinery, but this will give Stunter. So as things stand right this second, so with a, with a one SCV lead, but that should cut down in not too long as you've got the double command centers building rather than just the single command center. Second factory tacking on. A siege tank being built by So. We have two factories being built by Stunter. So I may have been completely wrong in my initial analysis and we'll see if Stunter actually opts for the three. Yeah, he's actually opting to go for the three factory vulture style play. We do have Vulture Speed being upgraded. Just two factories thus far from so opposite side. Finishing and saturating that natural expansion. Stunter has gained a single SCV lead, but the information lead looks like it is going to be in so's hands. And Stunter actually going up to four factories. 
as far as a follow-up, but critically, so going to see it with that barracks timing, and this is huge. Being able to see all of that, tacking on a third factory, doesn't look like he's going to cancel Vulture Speed on his end, but should follow this up with building, I assume, some siege tanks. Might even want to drop an armory, go a couple Goliaths, something along those lines. We'll see what his follow-up defense play is, but what you can do is, is seeing that you can either tack on a later factory of your own, or you can drop a second machine shop, or you can just try to defend it off three factories, keeping an eye on your opponent's unit count and composition. It looks like it is going to be all vultures with speed coming up somewhat later, though, for Stunter. One thing for so is he does need to have some form of defense on the natural expansion. It looks like he is, in fact, going to drop a fourth factory as a follow-up, researching mines right now. So he just wants to keep up production versus production. He is somehow ahead in the overall SCV count. Looks like a siege tank assaulting the natural. So he did build an initial siege tank. I'm not completely off on that. But anyway, ugh, not my best commentary. I'll get back in the flow as the season continues. Vultures waiting alongside that edge. This is keeping Stunter back. As far as a raw fight, that siege tank, unless SCVs join the fray, would be an advantage. Let's see if the vultures are trying to sneak out, going for an engagement. Now SCVs pulling off the line, trying to get on top of that siege tank. The Marines actually exiting the bunker to try to even the odds here. And it looks like it is going to be enough to go ahead and push so back. Vulture is able to clear out that siege tank, and now So losing map control. Stunter with a big supply lead. So actually up on SCVs here, but doesn't have enough to defend his natural expansion. Vulture should be able to quickly equalize the SCV count. Diving in here, nice focus fire, and this is going to be a quick one. It looks like Stunter is going to take it. SCVs trying to pull off the line to defend themselves, but just GG from there from So. That's unfortunate. Which, I'm going to say, that surprises me quite a bit, considering the earlier scouting information, seeing that it was four factories, knowing that you're going to be at a production deficit as far as units, rather than going back to the, to the defense, so uh, instead opting to play forward and get aggressive, ends up paying for it. So regardless, that is going to put so to the final match. Stunter has advanced to the round of 16. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.